hello welcome back programmers so i have created this video after a long time because uh, my college is started and there are the, there are some scenario of the online lectures so that's the reason i am not making a video regularly because uh, i am not getting a proper time but let's make a uh, let's see uh, in this video i am creating a windows application using your python application so guys uh, i hope uh, you have watched all uh, you have all with watched uh, previous video of the hand written recognition so you can say this is the part 2 of the, that video so if you have not watched that video so first watch uh, that video then come come to uh, come to this video here so in previous video i have talked about uh, how you can make a gui of hand written recognition okay so now let's talk ahead now i have created a windows application which i have shown in the last video also so you can see this is the folder of your windows application but actually totally application is created using a python but now you can see you can observe this this is the application of the windows means it one kind of the exe file when i click on double click on this it will run it will work same as the uh, your python application so wait for the launching it so you can see this is the same as a python application which we we develop using tkinter but there is a no extension of .py even you don't need to have a python in your system just you just extract this uh, folder and give it to someone which uh, someone system which doesn't have a python then it will also work so let's see if it is working or not it is actually working perfectly even i will check in last video also okay so you can see this is this actually using the deep learning algorithm in the background so how you can create this kind of the windows application in your mind this question will arise so let's do it uh, there is a one library uh, automatic uh, this is one kind of the gui library uh, auto py to exe you don't need to do anything just install this library in your cmd so just open your command prompt uh, copy this command from the here and install it so in my system it will show this command is already installed uh, sorry this library is already installed so now you have to go to your c drive just guys remember this part go to your c drive go to your user uh, go to your regular user now search for the app data in app data go for the local folder in local you have to go for the programs in programs just you have to go to the python python 3.6 guys reply path is a too long but just you have to just remember you have to go in the your python mean where is where your python is located in the c drive now just you have to go to the uh, script folder now just you have to search for the auto py to exe so this is the application just double click on it after the installation you have to follow this step so now it will launch a uh, your chrome browser uh, one kind of the application you can see this is a one kind of gui application you can do this task with cmd also but now you can do with gui also so with gui it will be very easy so now you have to find the script location means uh, from uh, from the which script you need to, uh, you have to create uh, your application your windows application so now once again i'm going to the hand written digit recognition and choosing this uh, actually let me check uh, with you is it you want i also forget which you i need to choose okay so this is the ui guys actually sometime i forget because of uh, there are lots of uh, codes in my uh, directory and my laptop so now now you have to choose the uh, output means uh, you you should uh, output in the one file means only one application or a one directory so guys uh, just remember my lines uh, which i am saying to if you are uh, creating a normal if you have a normal type of a python gui just uh, which only contain the gui things 
but uh, doesn't uh, contain only a background things like machine learning deep learning uh, then you you can go for the one file but now i am going for the one directory just reason is that my application is also using this training directory so that's why i need to go for the directory so it will create a one directory now there is a one another option your application is based on the windows based then uh, you can see uh, we have developed our uh, tikinter application so this is not a console based we have to choose here windows based application now we need to put the icon here so browse the icon so just download the one ico file from the internet so i have already downloaded so this will be my icon now you have to put the additional file here okay so my uh, this is the, the uh, program which i have chosen here this program is accessing this uh, meta folder and training folder because there are uh, some images which is available in the tikinter which is available in the gui is accessing from the meta folder and in the training folder i have placed my deep learning model so my application is also accessing this deep learning uh, deep learning folder from the training i need to give the i need to give a path of the both folder here so i need to choose a meta folder and select that folder now once again i need to click on the add folder and now i need to click on the add training folder so select the folder so now this setting is enough for the my application if you want to change the name if you want to change the there are lots of advanced option here if you don't know about in the too much detail you can uh, take as it is now our almost work is done if you go to some extra arguments and uh, there are lots of things which you can change is here but now we don't need to change anything here now let's once again just uh, repeat the step i have given the path of the application file then i uh, i need output in the one directory i need a windows based means geo application i have given the path of the icu uh, i already given the path of the my folder which is pro accessible by program now click on the convert py to exe so now you can initial uh, initialize uh, actually application started initializing here you can watch here uh, it will take around 5 to 10 minutes so just let me pause the video because it will take a too much time so let's see how how it takes the time so there is a 560 so let me pause here so guys now you can see our application building is completed so at the 516 i have started now it's 526 so you can see in my case it takes around 10 minutes to build application you can see there are uh, so many logs here if you want to observe what actually it does then you can see the logs here but now let uh, we all are interested in the output so now click on the open output folder it will redirect you to the output folder so now go to the our uh, folder so as uh, as we choose uh, we need a director uh, we need output in a folder so you can see that's why our output is in the folder there are all the uh, library which is working in the our python backend all of the libraries are recorded here so now you can see this is the our windows application but actually you can see all of the libraries are decoded uh, not uh, not the mean of decoded actually dll file it all it always almost converted every file into dll file because windows is working with a dll so you can see there are number of files available here and with the help of this file our application will be run so uh, most of the users are complaining their application is not running so guys uh, there is there is something maybe issue of the dll file you need to try again just uh, if you did not find any other solution just then go for the stack overflow you will find solution so now let run this application i hope it will work because in sometimes even i got the error of the application error but now i didn't get the any error you can see digit recognition now let me draw the some digit so click on the predicted digit predicted digit is a 5 and accuracy is 0.99 let do me do it with once again so you can see predicted digit is 7 so guys uh, that's how you can create the, your application 
so your output will be located in the output folder so this is the folder which i have created you can see uh, at 525 it's created and this is your application so you know where i have chosen one logo here so that logo is showing here and when i double click on this logo even it will show in this taskbar also you can see this logo is now available in the taskbar also uh, let me do something uh, let me just go for the desktop let create the icon of this okay so guys uh, as i expected it will not work as a standalone you have to put this application in some folder in some folder means in this folder otherwise it will not work you can see here it is not working so there are uh, there are so many limitation of this windows application but that's how you can create a windows application because this is not the perfect way to create a windows application but uh, we st still we are creating our desktop application uh, means windows application using this trick so you can do with your college project or internship project this will be create your good impact or your profile so guys that's all for the today video uh, if you have not subscribed my channel then just go to the our page and subscribe the channel you can see our machine learning of family increasing day by day just uh, when i started there are uh, 10 subscriber here now and now there is a uh, 1.16k subscriber here so our target is to achieve a 10k subscriber as soon as possible uh, if you want to call, do personally contact me then just uh, message me on instagram on this page machine learning hub bi yeah and even i am posting amazing stuff here also you can see so just follow me and subscribe the machine learning hub if you have any suggestion then give me in comment box if you did not get anything you can contact me directly on my instagram page uh, if you have suggestion for the next video you can uh, just uh, write in the comment section i will try to solve it and i will try make video on your topic also so guys that's all for the today video uh, see you in the next one until that uh, do coding and do amazing work and don't forget to subscribe the machine learning hub and like and share the video so guys thanks for the listening me see you in the next one